My kids love donuts. It's the one treat that they would beg me for when they were little. Well, today I'm gonna make a puff version of an inside out lemon glazed raspberry one in Danish form. They're gonna go crazy for these. Hey guys, so first to get started on our inside out lemon glaze raspberry cheese danish, <laughs> kind of like our inside out donuts. So I have one yolk. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to save the white part of the egg because I love egg white omelets and that will come in use for me later. So we have one yolk. We have some room temperature cream cheese some sugar. So this is our cheese filling, a little bit of vanilla extract, and we have some lemon zest. I'm going to stir this until it's evenly combined, nice and smooth, while our puff pastry is thawing. So I took it out of the freezer and I'm letting it thaw at room temperature just a little bit. You want to follow the package instructions. I think I'm cheating it a little bit. You can put it in the refrigerator the night before. But I just took it out of the freezer. I'm just going to let it sit at room temperature. It thaws pretty quick. All right, so you just want to unfold your puff pastry. Then you want to roll it out until about 9 by 12. where we're at. Look at that. Perfect. 12 by 9. Pretty easy, right? All right, now just want to take your pizza cutter or any knife, divide it right in half, and then into thirds. Perfect. So we have these little squares, or they kind of look like big squares, but they're going to become our Danish. And just a little easier way, I'm going to take my parchment paper, work on my parchment paper, clip each corner just to remove the points. My son Kostas always tells me <laughs> to save these. I don't know why he likes to eat them raw, but he wants me to save them for him. We'll take our remainder eggs. We had two eggs. So I'm just going to scramble this one because this is going to be our glue for our Danish. I want to brush the egg wash on the parchment so that way it doesn't make our surface area all messy. Okay, we're just going to brush the entire surface. All right, now it doesn't have to be perfect, but you're going to go around and twist the border, creating almost like a rope. So what that's going to do is create a little wall and a barrier. So when we place the cheese filling in the middle, it holds it in place. And the beauty about puff pastry is it's very forgiving. We can kind of stretch it back to that circle. Okay, then just want to brush all the edges, the roped border. So that way it has a beautiful sheen and it creates a glue and keeps it intact. We're going to transfer it onto our prepared parchment lined sheet tray and then finish the remainder. All right, so our last one. This is a fun project. If you have kids, they love helping out in the kitchen. And this is one they can't get hurt, but it's like an art project. Super fun. No heat involved. Not yet. It'll go into the oven shortly. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to place it into the refrigerator for 15 minutes to let the pastry chill. So see how that nice little border creates a little, I don't know, kind of holds it in there like a little wall. Mmm, I can smell that lemon. It smells so good. Okay, they're all set into a 375 degree oven until they're puffed and lightly golden, about 18, 20 minutes. So now, while our pastry's in the oven, let's make the glaze. So this is our lemon glaze right on top. Pretty easy to make, so I have some confectionery sugar and 
some freshly squeezed lemon juice. So I found when I was developing this recipe that this glaze really made it. So initially I made it without the glaze and we all felt, hmm, it's missing something. And then once I added this, it gave it that donut delicious flavor. All right, they are puffed. Look at that. All right, so now what we're gonna do is just remove them to a cooling rack and then they will slightly deflate, but that's okay. And we want them to cool before we add our raspberry topping, which is a seedless raspberry jam and drizzle our lemon glaze on top. So when the pastries deflate, they create this sort of concave center, which is ideal when you add the raspberry filling right in the middle. So it just holds it right in its spot. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Come on, that looks so good. We're gonna taste this one. Mmm, it's lemony. It's still a little bit warm. It's nice and puffy and have that delicious flavor of the raspberry. It totally tastes like a jelly donut with a lemon glaze, inside out. <laughs> for this recipe, go to the newspaper's website. And thanks for joining me today. From my kitchen to yours, happy cooking.